you were ever thinking about getting to the Raspberry Pi, stay tuned for today. We're going to be taking a look at the Canon kit, Raspberry Pi 4, 8 gigs of RAM. Stay tuned. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today, we're gonna take a look at the can of kit, I hope I'm saying that right, Raspberry Pi 8 gigs of RAM starter kit. Now, if you were ever thinking about getting into Raspberry Pi, these starter kits are really good. I did purchase this with my own money, so this is not a sponsored video. They didn't send it to me. This is just my plain thoughts on getting this kit. Although I am lying, it was a birthday gift for my parents, so, you know, mommy and daddy still gotta get me something every once in a while. For those of you that don't know what a Raspberry Pi is, it's a credit card size computer that you can hook a keyboard and mouse into and put a little SD card in and run a operating system called Raspbian. These Raspberry Pis can be used for uh, an assortment of things. You can use them to learn coding. You can use them as a regular computer. You can make robots with them. You can make game emulations with them. You can control your 3D printers with them. There's so many cool projects. If you ever want to get a chance, just Google some really cool projects that you can make with a Raspberry Pi. Really awesome little single board computer. Now, just to be clear, there are several versions of Raspberry Pis. There's the original Raspberry Pi, then the two, then the three, then the 3B, the three plus. There's, there's several versions of them. What they're up to is the Raspberry Pi 4. This is the top of the line as of now, July 2021. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 with eight gigs of RAM. Now, if you buy a Raspberry Pi 4, they start at two gigs of RAM and go on up to 8 gigs. So it's 2, 4, and then 8. Personally, I usually buy the Raspberry Pi and then buy the pieces as I need, but with the price point of this unit, which is $119.99, it comes with everything basically you need, except for a monitor, keyboard, and mouse. But everything else is in here, ready for you to go to get you started. So let's take a look at what this comes with out of the box. What's included with this is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with a 1.5 gigahertz 64 bit quad core CPU with eight gigs of RAM. Also comes with a 32 gig Samsung Evo plus micro SD card, class 10, preloaded with noobs, and a USB micro SD card reader. The can of kit has a premium high gloss Raspberry Pi 4 case integrated with the fan that comes with it. The kit also comes with a 3.5 amp USB type C power supply. It also comes with the heat sinks that you need, micro HDMI cable to HDMI, that's a six foot cord, which will support up to 4K at 60 frames per second. And it also comes with this really cool on off switch. It's a USB type C on off switch, so you can turn it on and turn it off. So that's everything that it comes with. I'm gonna show you the set a process. All right, so you get four heat sinks. That's what you're gonna get. The big rectangular one's gonna go on the processor, so we're gonna go ahead and take the tape off of that. Find me. We're gonna go ahead and place this right on top of it. So we'll hold down on that for a second, okay? And then we're gonna get this long one, and that's actually gonna go over the RAM. So we're gonna peel that off. And we'll hold that right there. Probably should have made that one go this way, but do that that good. That's, I mean, it's a heat sink. It doesn't really matter which way you went. I probably should have went that way with it, but do it how you want. I like the way it looked like that. All right, little pressure done. And the last one's gonna go on the USB modulars because apparently it heats up. Just hold it there. All right, so that's what your pie should look like once you have the heat sinks all on them. Now this pie does need a fan to cool it because it's gonna get hot. We're gonna put this in the case like this. It just sits like that. You'll see that's where the SD card goes, so we're gonna place it in there like that. All right, so we need to cool this, and we're gonna use this fan. And this is where you're gonna use this diagram right here, and if you look at the way it's, it's laid out, it'll show you how this goes. We know that this one is power, so that's this peg right here, and we know the second one is power, and then we know the third one is ground. So what we're gonna do, if it's color-coded, so your power is red and your ground is black. So we're gonna go for the third prong first, that's the ground. And we're gonna take the black wire. Go on the third one right there. We'll lace it right on there. Boom. And then we're gonna take the red one, which is that five volt right there. We're gonna go ahead and push that on as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and get the rest of the case. Put it on here. 
Clamp that in like so. So once you got the fan installed, we're gonna get the top and we want this facing up. We wanna get this right here and this is really cool. It actually has, I don't know if you guys can see that because it's black, but it has placement areas for the fan. It's actually gonna hold the fan. So we wanna have it facing up. We're just gonna go ahead and place it like so. Sticker up, so you should see the black to the bottom. Sticker facing up. We'll just place that right on top and click it into place and there you go you're, you're good to go you got an opening here feet for this place to put your sd card usb type c there for your power and then your micro hdmi ports your headphones or speakers on this side we have gigabyte ethernet usb type 3 and usb type 2. nice little compact little raspberry pi now this kit comes with a really cool little usb type c on off button on off connect that right on there we're gonna put that part of the machine and then we'll get the power cord I am in the US so it is a US power brick output of 4.1 volts with 3.5 amps USB type C and that's gonna go right into there like so and now this is actually almost ready to go this isn't a typical HDMI it's actually a micro HDMI you see there's like a really small end here and then there's the actual standard HDMI so we're actually gonna put it in HDMI zero, which is this one right here, which is right next to the power cord. So you wanna make sure you do that because it set it in the instructions. Next, you're gonna add a keyboard and a mouse. So we'll just add that to the Pi, like so. I'm gonna add the 32-bit Evo SD card right in the back here. Like so. The Canna Kit comes with a SD card with pre-installed operating system in it. So you get two choices of operating system. One is Libra or Raspbian. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Raspbian operating system, which I think most of you would choose. We'll go ahead and click install, and it is going to give us a warning message that says it's going to re-wipe this whole card out and erase both operating systems and install just the one. So definitely make sure that that is the operating system you want. Don't worry, you can download and install these from their websites if you do mess up or you decided you wanted the other operating system over the other. All right, so this is what it looks like when it first boots up. After installing, we're gonna go ahead and pick your country, your language, and your time zone. We also want to make sure we click that checkbox, use English language. Obviously, that is for people that use the English language. You can click that on. Go ahead and click next to the next screen. It's going to bring you to the screen where you're going to create a password. Please make sure you write it down because you're going to need it. The default password is Raspbian. Next, we're going to set it up for the internet. It's going to search for your local Wi-Fi. Once you've added your Wi-Fi credentials, it will do a system update and then reboot. So that's the process of setting up your Raspberry Pi when you first get it with this Canna kit. I'm pretty impressed with the eight gigs. You could definitely watch YouTube videos. You could definitely get a workflow. I'm gonna play with it more to see if it can really be used as an everyday computer because I think that would be really exciting for people that have a monitor and a keyboard laying around and they wanna get into Raspberry Pis or they just need a cheap computer. Overall though, the kit, I gotta say, with everything that it came with, it is well worth it. I mean, you're you're getting a case, you're getting the Pi, you're getting heat sinks, you're getting the fan, you're getting that on-off switch, USB Type-C. If you add all this up together, it actually comes out to be more than if you were to buy them individual. And that's why I want to take a look at this Canna kit. And like I said, I'm not sponsored. I just thought it was a really neat kit and I wanted to share it with you guys and see what you guys thought. But me personally, I think it's a great value. I think it's a five out of five if you're looking to get into Raspberry Pis, especially the Raspberry Pi 4, even more power. They're great kits. They go on sale on Amazon all the time. You just gotta take a look out for them. I'll leave a link below of the one that I reviewed today, but I think the kit is a five out of five. I think the Raspberry Pi 4 is an awesome system, and there's many operating systems that you can load on a Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna try different things with it when I get a chance. I want to really experience a 64-bit operating 
operating system on this Raspberry Pi because as far as I know and from what I've read, and I may be corrected, the version of Raspbian that I'm running on this is not a 64-bit system. So I'm gonna try other things. I'm gonna try different stuff and really explore it. So stay tuned for those videos as I mess around with this thing. That's it for me, guys. If this helped you in any way, please like, subscribe, and ring that bell if you wanna get notified when I make a video. And remember, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Later, guys. This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. Don't know what to tell you.